Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. Uh, this is a cucumber experiment and I'm basically here to show you some major developments. But before that, you know something really bad happened yesterday. Uh, take a look at this clip. Problem, 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 problem people. Problem with the cucumber plants. Look at all this, this, these plants in this um, tank. Look. In this container, look. They're wilting, they're wilting very bad. Um, you see what happened a while ago? The the hose. The hose basically um fell out of the container and, and fell in the drum. So even when the pump was running, it wasn't um it wasn't running the water into the container. So you find that look at how dry the gravel is. Uh, you find that the plants weren't getting any water. Oh God, I came. Okay. I'm just going to put this stone right here. Okay. So this is how it looks. The, the plants look now because they wilted. They wilted. Okay. You can see we have some lovely sized cucumber there coming. So yeah, the, these leaves will come back and I'll basically show you, let's just give it a few minutes um, and I'll show you, they'll come back just like those over there. So here we are about um, 45 minutes later, so as you can see the leaves are regaining back their vitality and all of that, so as you can see the lower leaves, most of them are okay, um, of course um based on the transpiration pull you know that is basically how and the demand of the atmosphere that is basically how these upper leaves will basically regain back their rigidity right um or to re regain back their structure so as you can see they are fairly okay now the water is running okay so we are back to the original video what i want to show you is basically that the cucumber they are developing um, this cucumber is basically about five and a half inches, right? Um, so far, and they're they're looking well, right? Look at that, right? As you can see, looking well, and uh, you know we are going straight up the vine. So, and this is the farmer's water, as you know. Um, this is basically the water lo lower on TDS. As you can see, we have a lot of um, cucumbers also give you a better angle right out of the sun right as you can see right the nodes are filled so I, I had done a video but I don't remember if I no I did not upload that video what I want to show you is that two of these plants this is one of them I came down with titium crown rot but they recovered right they recovered they seem to be recovering well um, look at this one also as you can see but they are recovering they are growing well still as you can see right so i'm not going to add any unwanted pesticide to to to, to the to the mixture so what i what I, what something else i want to show you is that the, um, the plants are basically in their generative mode now and what i'm seeing is as you can see look on the leaves um look on the edges we are suffering from a little potassium deficiency as well as magnesium but mostly potassium so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a foliar fertilizer. I'm going to spray some foliar, a foliar blend of um, potassium sulfate and magnesium sulfate. Because another thing, sulfur is very important and there is no sulfur in the mixture that the plants are getting. So I'm going to add um, potassium sulfate and magnesium sulfate um, as a foliar feed and then now um, add it to the, the tank as well. Right? Um, so something else I want to experiment with is um, flower pruning, right? What is flower pruning? Flower pruning is basically going through just like how you do um, vine pruning. Let me show you what vine pruning is. Vine pruning, pruning is removing the garbandizers or the, the suckers. So like this up here. This up here, right? This is basically um, a side shoot coming out, right? This one. 
right this one so you basically just remove this right as you can see just remove that because if you don't remove this you'll get extra vines growing out right here's another one right remove it leave the cucumber right here it is right I so remove these just look at this plant right here's another one right so we remove this one right and there are more but um so what i'm going to do is so that is um, vine pruning to remove extra shoots and, and side shoots and so on what I, we are going to do is flower pruning flower pruning is actually removing um flower from the nodes so like these flower removing whatever i want to move from the nodes so what i want to experiment with is that on 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 two of so we have two sets of plants right two sets of four so on this set with the farmer's water i'm going to do a, what is called i'm going to do the flower pruning and i'm going to leave one flower on each um, node and then um for the other two plants i'm going to leave a maximum of two flower on each node and basically monitor how they grow so on this one i i, I had already started um so this one is basically leaving one so so far we have one there one there one there so we're basically only going to leave um one floor on each node on this plant since as it has started al started already right so we're going to remove this one right and all of this this is basically to look at the production how um how it will produce right and then now uh, why do you do flower pruning you do flower pruning because because of um once the plant start producing flower you basically it basically starts putting all its energy and resources into developing those into developing those flower right i know it's painful to be removing these flower because they are potential cucumbers but at the same time we, wa we, are, we, are, we, we want to see how well we can basically get uniform plant uniform fruits and um as as many as possible going up the vine instead of having part of the vine producing prolific and another part producing none right or small amounts yes yeah, so yes yeah, so once the plant start producing um flower it's it's in a generative mode and it's going to send its resources to the flower so if you have too many flowers on the plant vine it will basically overburden the 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 the, the plant because the plant is basically its purpose is basically to produce as many fruits to produce as many seeds also so, so so to produce as many cucumbers so that it can produce as many seeds as possible right so um you'll find that you'll have on uh, too many flowers and the plant cannot maintain it right so you'll get a plant you'll get a plant that maybe last shorter in its life cycle and so on and then um yeah all the sort of other things will happen so yeah so, so as i said these two plants the front here um one one flower per node one flower per node yeah um yeah one flower per node one flower so as they develop i i just pick them off right and this over here i leave on these two now these two I leave two flower per load right um, this cucumber is resting in the water what I'm going to do is I'm going to get something or maybe not maybe I could just take my time uh, without breaking it and put it out here yeah that's it so it's, that's an easy fix yeah people so I'm pretty much done now yeah pretty much done sorry about the sunlight in the background right you want to see cucumbers you want to see cucumber <laughs> yo nice nice man
Yeah, people. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to basically just go and check the. I'm going to check the pH and the EC you now of both container. Um, and I'm going to do the apply the foliar feed and just you know ensure that everything is in order. So, um, yeah. If you have any questions or any comments, put them in the comments area. Um, please remember to subscribe to the channel and share these videos if you wish. Thank you. Bye-bye.